Hello and welcome in one of the finalizing tutorials. Now let's talk about rendering. I have all After Effects versions opened. I have CS6, CC and CC 2015 opened. Now why do we use the render queue and Adobe Media Encoder? Let me explain. Adobe CS6 has only the option to edit to render queue because this is the native tool which Adobe After Effects uses for rendering. Adobe After Effects CC, the bit newer version, allows us to not only render within After Effects, but also render with Adobe Media Encoder. The biggest change here is that Adobe Media Encoder is a separate program, a separate build which you can render in, and Adobe wants us to render in this Media Encoder. Adobe, in the newer versions, do not want us to render inside After Effects. That's why CS6 has more render options than Adobe After Effects CC and CC 2015. The great thing here is that if you have an After Effects subscription in After Effects Creative Cloud, you are able to install older versions of After Effects. So for example, if you want to work in CS6, that's no problem. If you have a subscription, you install the old version or you can simply buy the older version because After Effects CS6 can be bought. That's why also I work still sometimes in After Effects CS6 because I have some templates and I use the render options. Hit this composition, composition, add to render queue. You can also hit Ctrl or Command M. I believe that you maybe already understand how to render, but in case you don't, this is the render options you are using and this is the output file you will receive. If you click here, you can select the destination where this mp4 file should be saved. But if you do not want to be an mp4, for example, because these are my default settings, you click on output module. And output module will allow you to select different formats for your render. And if you have After Effects CC 2015, you most likely will not be able to use those because those were only available in After Effects CS6 if you have the right codecs installed. Rendering is very simple because you can choose, for example, AVI, H.264, MPEG-4 or a very popular one, QuickTime. Let's select QuickTime and you don't have to care about many options. For basic rendering, you only have to care about quality, which you can select here and you can still change the video codec which QuickTime should be rendered with. If you are familiar with video editing overall, you should understand those options, but basically I will stick with animation. I have it in Polish because I have a Polish system. So I'll stick with animation, which is a basic codec for QuickTime. And if you have QuickTime installed on your PC, you should have also the same option available. Depending on which codec you select, you might have different options here. I will stay with animation. Let's make it about 70% of quality. I hit OK. In this case, I have no audio in my file, but I will still select audio output no problem, render it together. If you would have some music, this should be on as well. You can of course change the quality of audio as well with those options. I'll remain with my RGB channel, everything with standard options. I'll hit OK and once I have a template, I could also go to Edit, Template, Output Module and I could save this template here. That's what I'm doing. I have for example transparent videos saved here again a transparent video, this is my basic which I changed and additional audio, that's nothing special, I just did go to edit H.264, I changed the bitrate to 30 because this allows me to make a really good quality video and it is not too heavy. I could for example up those but then every video would be super heavy and we don't need that because this will not be any better of quality, maybe a few percent but still, if it's going for YouTube, it will lose quality anyway, so why should we waste space on our hard drive? Okay, basic options. Let's select this QuickTime, which we did. Let's select the name for our animation and let's press render. That's how you render in After Effects. Since this is a very simple animation, a very quick one, it's not super advanced, there are not super many things, it will render super quick and there's no problem rendering such files. That's how you can render in After Effects with the native Adobe Render Queue.